Hey guys, I am back with um, a project share and some AliExpress um, things that I purchased. Now I got these for a dollar nineteen or a dollar fifteen. I don't know, something crazy like that from AliExpress. Now um, these are actually pretty good as far as um, the sturdiness on them. They're not like really, really thin or anything like that. They're actually pretty nice. Pretty nice. And I really like that a lot. So, I ended up getting three. And I think on that specific um, store, I ended up getting a few dies as well. So, let me show you. Stencils I picked up. And I really, really like this. If you guys ever watch my... Um, channel i do like ballerinas bunny rabbits little pigs pigs with wings and i got this one also as you can see i've used it already on a project so there you go so i got those and i picked up a few dives and th these just came in today i picked up the dandelion i think there's like five or six um dives in that pack so you get the dandelion that looks like it's been blown away. You get the one with the little flower. And then you get the full one with the hearts. And I just put a pink one, one of the pink ones behind it. That's actually, um, you get, let me just show you guys. So here's the one that's got the hearts. And it's a nice size die, you guys. I really like that. And then there's two flyaways. There's the one that looks like it's been blown away. And then you get these two. And I think there were $2.89. Hold on. Okay, guys. I don't know where I was at. Um, but my son just left and my granddaughter needed me. Okay, so these were $2.57. And they're just pretty. And they're a nice size, too. And when you can combine them with other colors, look at how pretty that is. So, yeah. I really, really like those a lot. Alright, so, let me get these out of the way so I can show you my Halloween dies. So, I got another batch in of Halloween dies. Yes, I'm getting ready for Halloween. I think I've ordered some Christmas stuff, so those will be coming in. I got this butterfly die here and it was 89 cents. So, and that's really nice size. Okay. And I think I showed you guys, but I didn't cut out this little guy. So now you know how, how big he is. Okay. I got this die and this die doesn't cut out. It's a stitching die and you get quite a few in there. It looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And I did um, run it through my um, big shot. Not all of them, just a few of them. So that's what that looks like. And I think that came out pretty nice. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So I really like that a lot. Okay. Then I got a grass die, which cost me $2.78. And when I run it through, they are connected. And this is a nice die. It's pretty sturdy. And um, so I didn't, like, take them apart. I just ran them through like that. So let me show you the mess that I cut out with that die. So there's the grass. Yeah, so when I cut it out, they were just all connected like that. So, yeah, but... It's really nice and they're a really long piece so I really like that see it went from one end to the other end of the cardstock that I had and then I got this one which does not cut out just the hearts cut out on this one and it's a stitching die and this was 226 I think um they're starting to raise their prices all right either that or I was just late to look for a um, good deal a better deal I should say so sorry about the shaking so that's what that looks like and again with the stitching and then the hearts and I thought that was really really pretty and I don't know if I showed you guys this la last time this cost me a dollar eighty and that's what that looks like and it's not really hard you guys you go on AliExpress and just punch in metal um, dives 
and what you're looking for like if you're looking for baking and it'll show a few um not dies but stamps you know so uh, it's as easy as ebay i think but anyway so it's a dollar 95 for this one and i heard or i think someone thought she heard that you can pay with paypal but i don't think not yet anyway so i don't know if i showed you guys her last time but i really like her and she's a nice size and excuse my hands as always i was crafting today and you can color her any different color you can stamp on her so i just thought she was pretty awesome so i grabbed her i got this one this one's kind of pricey this was 318 it's a nice size and it's very very um it's a nice thick um metal piece then i got these halloween ones oh let me show you what that looks like cut out that that's pretty nice i really like that so i got me the hands which were 2.98 and i will show you them cut out if i can find them i got a big mess of dies over here okay and these are like a really good size look at that those are gonna look really cool on a card or a tag. I'm still looking for the other one. Okay, so look at that. Those are pretty cool. I really, really like them. So I got those. Then I got me another witch, and she's a really good, decent size, you guys. There was another one I wanted, and I think the pumpkin was on that side, but the, this part right here, her bosom, it had like a double and it looked really weird. So I was like, no, I'm not getting that one. And that's a good size. And she's like a cutesy witch. It looks like anyway. She doesn't have the weird funky nose coming out, protruding outward. I got the eyes, $1.99. And they're a good size. So they are a three piece. So I thought those were pretty cool. I got the mummy, which was a dollar ninety-eight. I use a twenty-pound paper, so it's pretty flimsy. And then I didn't punch in some of the innards, but that's what he looks like. And he's a nice size. It's going to be really cute to put on a tag or a card. Then I got this one that comes with the bat, and that one was two fifty-eight. You guys. And then I got some more webs. I got me a nice collection of webs now. So it's going to be pretty cool to layer in, put them together. And there's a spider on that one. This one was $3.50. And then last from that store, I got this one, which is Halloween. And it's got a blood... And as you can see, it cuts all the way through, but it don't cut the paper unless you're going to use a small piece of um, paper because it's not, it won't cut, cut all the way through. Okay, so here it is right there, the blood dripping, and then there's the Halloween, which looks like it's branches. They look like branches. Okay, so there's that. And then I had this one, that, and this is a two-pack, and it cost me $1.67, so you get the hearts and then the lace, and that's what that looks like. And they're pretty long. I like them. So there's that. And I think I showed you guys the Grim Reaper. I can't be for certain, but I didn't cut him out, so you guys didn't know what it looked like. And now I can't find them. I was working on um, trying to make paper um, honeycomb um, party balls for the ceiling to decorate a party. And I can't find that. Find the Grim Reaper. He left me. All right. Well, sorry guys. I guess you don't get to see what he looks cut out. Okay. And then I got this diamond die which is nice sturdy cuts out pretty good now i got one from spellbinders which is about almost like a baseball size 
but this one it cuts out way way smaller i want to say about three rolls of washi is about as big as this diamond looks but it's really nice and really easy to put together and i can't tell you what i paid for that because i um, kind of had them for a little while and i forgot to show them then i got this die here which is really really cute it's a little bunny with a frame and so you could either cut the bunny from the frame or leave them on the frame. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I thought he was really, really cute. So that is that. So those are my dies from AliExpress. And then I've been working on a couple of um, altered clipboards. And um, let me take you off the thingamajig here and show you. So here's one of my clipboards, you guys. And... I wanted to stay within the black and the white, but I had to put a teal and pink in there. And I just got some resin pieces that I made. I got some rosettes and a bunch of flatback pearls, some flowers from the Dollar Tree. That's a mold I picked up from AliExpress. And so's that one right there. That's a stamp I picked up from Paper Babes on Etsy, along with um, those little um, hair pins. That's a... Um, die I picked up on Etsy also and there's a scissor die and this is a honeybee stamp and die set those stamps that stamp and that stamp is from Viva Las Vegas stamp store and I just got it all decked out with a bunch of um a bunch of stamps and die cuts and ephemera and Lots of cutesy stuff. So I really, really liked how that came out. I liked how I got Be Amazing, Be Strong, Be Beautiful. And then right there, that corner one says See Today, Favorite Lipstick. I thought that was pretty cute. cute. And just Smile Beautiful. So I really, really liked how that one came out. And then my second one, let's see if I can bring you guys out so you can really get the full look on that clipboard look at that that is so so pretty okay let me show you my other one and so this one's not as busy as this one and i still want to add a sentiment to it and as you can see i use the gorgeous girl one of Santor santaro santoro's stamps and that hot air balloon is a pumpkin steel rule die from Tim Holtz. And I just kind of layered it and layered it until it looked like a hot air balloon and just kind of embellished it with all kinds of goodies. It's got a button on there, a stick pin, some lace, some flowers, a banner. And then on the bottom is one of those paper hats, steampunk hats that I had made. What I did was I cut it in half so it can be... Um, the little basket and what I want to do is I want to add a little teddy bear you know like like she's trying to catch her teddy bear because he got away in the hot air balloon and I also want to add a sentiment on that but I think it came out really really pretty so that is my other clipboard and that's my project share so thanks for watching until next time bye bye